Welcome to C Programming for Engineers. Today we are going to write a program that modifies the cards program that we wrote in our last lecture to use type defs. And then we are going to modify it a little bit more and create a structure called deck. And that is going to contain all of the decks, or sorry, all of the cards that are in a deck and an integer representing whether or not the deck has been shuffled. Okay, so go ahead and open up Visual Studio, and what I'm going to do here, the uh, last program that we wrote was in this project here that I have called Structures. So I'm just going to okay. click on that recent project, Structures, and then you can see that it opens up my uh, cards.cpp file. So uh, now let's look back at what we needed to do, modify the cards program from last class to use uh, type defs. Okay, we can use type defs. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this struct card. There's two ways that we can do it. One is that right here I could say type def struct card and then name it card. And then anywhere that I have struct card, I can replace it just with card uh, with a capital C. So uh, that is one way that I can do it. Anywhere that I have struct card, just replace it with card with a capital C. That should still work exactly the same way that we did last time. Let's go ahead and build that up. Make sure that it builds and run it. Make sure that it still runs uh, the same way that it did last time. Okay, so you see the mine built up successfully. I'm gonna go to debug and say start without debugging and it should pop up and there is my shuffled list of cards and there is my unshuffled list. So uh, it still worked with me just replacing, uh, so adding this type def line right here and then replacing all the places where it said struct card with just card with a capital C because that's what we've done here. I'm gonna take this one step further since we're not using any global variables declared right here. I'm going to go ahead and type def this whole thing. So I'm gonna put type def right here get rid of the word card from there, put the word card with a capital C here, and get rid of that line. This should do exactly the same thing now. So go ahead and build it, run it again, and uh, oh, it looks like we have an error here. Let's see what our error is. Uh, oops, I missed one of our cards. So see, now that I type def this, I can't use struct card anymore because that's not the name of that structure. So I just need to make this use a uh, capital C there instead. So it's forcing me to do it now. So let's go ahead and change that, build it up. There we go. Now we succeeded. Start without debugging. It should work the same. There's my shuffled cards. There is my set of unshuffled cards. So uh, there we've thrown a type def in. Uh, seen how that works. Okay, the second part to this program said modify it to contain a structure called deck. The deck structure will contain all of the cards in the deck and an integer representing whether or not the deck has been shuffled. So let's create a structure that we'll call deck. And inside of it, I need to have all of the cards. Well, for all of the cards, that would just be an array of cards and uh, this is going to be, let's see, I'll call it cards, and we'll have 52 of them. And then an integer representing whether or not the deck has been shuffled. Okay, so there is my deck. Okay, um, let's see, I need to modify a few things now that I have my uh, deck structure. I don't need to pass in a card array anymore in here. What I could pass in instead of a card array would be a deck. See what I need to change here. I get D. Oh, I named my card D. I don't want to name my my deck D also. That's a little confusing. So I'm going to name my deck uh, deck with a lowercase D. Okay. Okay. Coming in here now to get my ith card. This is now going to be deck dot cards sub i. Now see, inside of my deck, I have a variable called cards, and that's going to represent an individual card if I put an index inside of it. So deck.card sub i represents an individual card from up here. 
and temp is a card, so that works out. So now I need to set deck.card sub i equals deck.card sub random number, and then deck.card sub random number equals temp. Now I think that takes care of this uh, function, the shuffle function. So let's come down here to the print deck function now. Let's do the same thing. So I'm going to change this from a card to now be a deck. Instead of d sub i dot face, this is going to be deck dot card sub i dot face. I know that might look a little weird to you. You've never seen that before. What this is saying is inside of my deck structure, I have an array called cards. I'm accessing the uh, index at location i. But then cards is also a structure. And inside of that, I have a variable called face. So it's just uh, chaining the deck.cards.face and then deck.cards.suit. And uh, that should take care of my print deck function. Pretty easy. Down here now, uh, I'm going to change this line here from being card of deck sub 52. Um, instead, let's just make this deck deck. And instead of this being deck sub whatever, this is going to be deck.cards sub whatever. Oops. Like that. And I think I might be ready to test it out. Get our, see if our deck is going to work. So, that should be it. Let's build it up. And let's run it. Okay, there is my to print out, so something went wrong there because you notice that my second printout is not shuffled. So since it's not shuffled, we need to figure out why it didn't get shuffled for us, okay? But it looks like everything else worked, it compiled and ran. Something is going on probably inside of my shuffle function. So let's take a look here, see if we can figure it out. Okay, so what looks like is happening here is that inside of this shuffle function, uh, it's not actually updating my deck correctly. Now, the reason for that is because my deck is being passed in here uh, just by value. So any changes that I make to my deck inside of that function are not going to be reflected in the function that called it. If I want that to happen, I either need to pass deck in by reference or pass it in by a as a pointer so that it's going to uh, simulate a call by reference. If I want to pass this by reference, all I need to do is put an ampersand in front of deck. And uh, that fixes the problem. We don't need to do it on the print deck function because we're not changing anything. We're just printing out the value. So that's fine to leave that one alone. So let's put the ampersand in front of that so that we're going to pass deck into that function by reference. Let's run it again. And now you notice there is my shuffled deck. And up on top is my unshuffled deck. The only other thing that I want to change in here is uh, let's just do uh, uh, so that we make sure that we set this uh, is shuffled variable that I have right here. Let's do a deck dot is shuffle. Let's set it equal to true, and I'm going to take that and put it right at the bottom of the function, so that now we know our deck has been shuffled. Right after I create my deck up here, I'm going to say that my deck dot is shuffled equals zero. Oops, I don't need it to be equal to true. I want it to be equal to one. So uh, now my deck is shuffled. Down here, my deck is not shuffled. Go ahead and run it again, build it, run it, let's make sure there's my shuffle deck down here on the bottom, my unshuffle deck up on the top. Now we've modified our code where we have uh, a deck structure and we've modified it to use uh, type defs. So that was what we needed to do for this program. Uh, hopefully you got that, I'll post it online. If you have any questions, let me know. Good luck.